Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Around a year ago I have done this video which is for this case is about the problems that you may face when you are running a, a program and then you are receiving this notification which is saying the application was unable to start correctly, click OK to close the application. In this video I have shown some ways how to fix this general problem that you may have with different programs. But in this video I'll show to you guys how you can fix exactly the same problem but you have specifically with the office package. This happened to me after I did an update of my computer, suddenly my office package is not working anymore. So I found a solution for that. Here it is what you have to do. It's just one solution, which I hope it will help you. So what we do, we just open the programs. So we go at search and we search their programs and then it will pop up add or remove programs. These steps are pretty much the same if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11. And now from the installed applications, you have to find the office package that you are running on your computer. In my case, it's Microsoft 365, but if you are running, let's say, Office 2019 or whatsoever, and then again, you do the same thing. Here it is exactly the program that I'm running, Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. In this case, I'm running the English version. What we do, we click at these three dots here, and then you will see this option here, which says modify. We click over modify, and then it will pop up this window, which will tell you, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. And then you will have two options. One, it is to do a quick repair, which will fix most issues quickly without the need of internet connection. And then it is the online repair, which will fix all issues, but takes a little longer and requires an internet connection to download the updates or whatsoever from the internet. You can select this option if you are still having problems after a quick repair. I'm gonna go directly to the online repair. And after I have selected that one, I click over repair and then are you ready to start an online repair? Then I click over repair. So practically what this option will do will uninstall completely the office package and then it will install it back. Normally the license that you have already used for this office package will be automatically taken and you don't have to enter again any license key or whatsoever. So this is better than uninstalling manually. So this whole process of repairing will happen automatically. And then if this doesn't solve the problem or the error that you are receiving with your Word or with your Outlook, then you just have to uninstall it and install it from the scratch. If you are having a general problem with many applications, you are receiving this kind of error from my comments on the internet. I haven't tried. One of the subscribers said to me that for him it helped just to reset completely their computer and then all the application and program that he had installed started to work. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope this video will help to fix this problem with Microsoft Office package. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.